But yeah, there's another tower. Uh, you know, there used to be a barber shop in my hometown called the Captain's Chair, I think. Hmm. Luckily, this one is easier to reach. On the board. And let's open her up and. Oops. I do that a lot. I accidentally close the thing I'm trying to rewire. But. Well. It seems the watch finds itself hoist by its own. It's self right. Its own whale powered death machine. <laughs> <coughs> we speculated last time as to just what, what sort of. what's aiming that thing, since there's no crew. Yeah. Whale suffering? That was our theory. Like, that's what confuses me. Like, how can it tell. How can you tell it, hey, I'm the person you shouldn't aim at now? Because there's no computer. I think. As far as we know. Steampunk. There's a steam pewter, obviously. Wait, did he just... Is there, like, a punch card? Like, those audio... <laughs> I mean, it's... Flip it around? Punch, punch card controlled targeting system. I, I... I want to believe that this is true, so that I'm, I'm assuming that's the explanation now. Well, I mean, he needs yeah. needlessly fancy devices, then, to just pull the card out and flip it around. I imagine that there's, like, robot arms that do that, which are themselves controlled by additional punch cards. Ah, the world. Based on a punch card system. Because why not? I remember reading somewhere, um... Oh, got a wreck! ...about speculations about computers in the future. Mm -hmm. And somebody said something like, by 2000... The, uh, the average computer might only need to take up one story of a building and uh, use, like, only three miles of vacuum tubes. <laughs> and only the five richest kings of Europe will own them. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that looks better. Hey, we've got a couple of bone charms to pick up before we continue. Ah, uh, here we are. Uh-oh. We've been on half rations for a do wells Not slide shaws. No, they're, they're guards. Oh, right in the arm. It seems to be pretty good about showing the like the bolt stuck in where you actually hit him. They saved me. How can I thank you? I have nothing. Wait, take this. It's the backdoor service key to Bunting's house, the art dealer on the main street. I used to work for him, you know, before the plague. He's let all his servants go, but he's still there. Probably hoping he'll be able to sell something from that safe of his. I don't know what he has left, but it's all I have to offer you. Please take it. A kind of convenient coincidence. But as you recall, I already broke in just by teleporting to the balcony. But if you don't have the long range, you know, the upgraded blink to do that, then this is an alternate way. Were they even trying to hit her? Because that guy was just kind of standing there swinging his sword. That that was kind of a weird... Yeah, that was kind of a weird screw-up. I think he... I don't know if he got caught on part of the terrain or something. Hmm. That was a bit odd. Down into this alley. This is a, this is a dangerous part of town. There's weepers hang out here, especially on high chaos, because on the higher chaos, the more weepers. Oh, beautiful! That's two. That's three. Oh, wait, no, he's still alive. 
resilient. Just a little bit off. Yeah. They're resilient. I have to say the distance on these crossbows. Oh, that's the slide. Oh, nice. Knocks him down. Oh, but it wasn't enough. And I left that death in as a cautionary example. Do not enter close combat with weepers in, if, unless absolutely necessary. It doesn't go well. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're easy. They are not. They are not. This is one of those uh, ability. Uh, Bloodthirsty is one of those abilities that is absolutely useless if you're doing a non-lethal <laughs> playthrough. <laughs> Unless you want to do non-lethal brutal melee fatalities, I guess. And so, what what does it do? Um, it's when you during fights you gain adrenaline by hitting guys, blocking attacks, stuff like that. And when it fills up, you can do like these special attacks that kill them immediately. Oh. And it's even you can actually power the level two one. You can power it up. You can actually kill two. There's a spe extra special ones that actually get two guys at once, I believe. Oh, neat. Here, this time, see, I'm going to prepare the groundwork a little first. Uh. Ah. Oh! Nice. Let's see how... Let's try it again. Let's try it this time. That's two. Mm. Seems like you can't get past two. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if my. I don't know if my aim is keeps screwing up there, or if these guys are actually tougher. These guys are selling those crossbow. They are. No, nope, now I'm switching to my pistol. There, there we go. Spring wire. And I know what I said about not close combat, but I wanted to do the slide again. And that's the end of him. I was looking at the, um, like the mock-up designs people have made for trying to figure out the physics of that sword. Oh, really? Yeah. The best guess anybody has is that the handle must be hollow. Okay. Because, like, how it looks, like the, the blade collapses in on itself, would make no sense for structure-wise. Oh, oh, oh this, look who's here! Hmm. <coughs> yeah, this is kind of a sad letter. Dear Daniel, I've been given a geologist position with the Horizon Trading Company in Circonos. Soon we'll be undertaking our first survey just south of Karnica. Don't wait too long to leave, because there are rumors of people being denied passage out of the city. Wait for me in Karnica. Love, Allison. Never made it out. Like I said, a lot of the letters are kind of neat. They kind of humanize the city. They just died of plague? Yeah. I'm talking about the beautiful dark eyes. Remember who has really dark eyes? Like, purely black eyes? Yeah, whenever people talk about the outsider, they always talk about the eyes. Alright, Don too. I'm discussing with my scholar, Mama. The dance is starting to... Is my hair smooth enough? He's sure to be there. <coughs> my gentleman callers don't come around like they used to. You took care of it for me, didn't you? Own charm. Clockwork malfunction. Interesting. Enemy grenades no. take slightly more time to explode. Oh. Handy. So the one you have whirlwind right now, right? Uh yeah, I believe so. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's an upgraded version of that. There is. Yeah, a number of them have like stronger versions. Number of them do. What you doing, Dan, hanging out down here? I don't know. Well, 
well, this is kind of roughly the neighborhood she lives in. Yeah, so that was an entrance to the Golden Cat, but there's another one we can get to using that key Slackjaw gave us. Mm. That gives us a more gives us a more advantageous position, basically. I know there's a plague, but these streets are really empty. Well, at least in this case, they mentioned that like, uh, like you're not. I think this it's like officially closed off. Mm. Like civilians are all barred from it or something. That's true. I kind of wonder what the Feast of Painted Kettles involves. Tea party? Maybe. I don't know. Right, into the captain's chair. Holidays are always weird. That, like, cross-culturally. Yeah. So, is there ever, like, a layout for all the months? Uh, they yes, actually. Oh, oh in, in Dishonored? Yes, there is. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. I know they keep talking about, like, the month of rain and the month of nets and stuff, and I'm, like, trying to figure out that in context. Yeah, you do find a complete list. Okay. And are there 12 or 10? No, there's more, there's more than 12, actually. Oh, okay. Weird. Yeah, the heart's a real cheerful sort. Wouldn't you be? Blood ox heart. Lovely. I don't know what a blood ox is. Your max mana is slightly increased. An ox... That's bloodthirsty? I don't know. As much as it pays to the stereotype, though, my dad... And I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna use that Blood Ox Heart one. Oh, that is, nice. See, you, yeah, you can see my meter is extended now. Oh. And you were saying about your dad? Uh, he rode an ox while uh, milling rice patties in Vietnam. Really? Yeah. Yes, it's a stereotype, but... It was true. It did happen a lot. But oxes are cool. They're a lot more gentle than cows. Really? Yeah, if you raise them right. I mean... So if, if the oxen grew up in a bad neighborhood, then they can be dangerous. Yeah. But... Urban violence. Here we, and we're on to the Golden Cat bathhouse. I guess that's the polite term for it in this universe. 